Wow, Yellowstone is giving us a show, guys. What you see here is what the USGS surveillance camera has recorded on July 3rd, and we're getting the pictures now. It was another hydrothermal eruption at the Diamond Pool at the Yellowstone National Park. And why is there a surveillance camera? You might remember last year. There was a hydrothermal explosion in the Yellowstone National Park July 23rd, so almost a year ago. And that could have gone wrong really, really badly because it caught everyone by surprise at the Biscuit Basin. It was caused by a buildup of pressure from boiling water and steam near the surface, not by magma interacting with groundwater. That's what the USGS has released. So this event, like this event, has sent a plume of water and debris 400 to 600 feet into the air, and it was captured by videos of people that were actually there. And that was highlighting the potential hazards of Yellowstone National Park, like the deck, the walkways that where there were completely destroyed by the explosion. You saw people away fleeing for their lives. It was really, really dangerous. The area was then closed and repairs were done and a hazard assessment has been conducted. And now we have this surveillance camera that has live captured this because they come without a warning. So another hydrothermal explosion in the diamond pool and it's in the Biscuit Basin, same area. Event occurred at 8.18 p.m. local time and they had just installed basically the surveillance camera just about two months ago. And since then, it was already, or it is already the third explosion of this magnitude. What we're seeing here is a fountain of water and steam that has been shot up several meters high up in the air and you don't wanna be near that thing. The fountain has also ejected rocks and mud that, if you close by, can really, really do a lot of damage, fatal damage, if it hits you, because it comes out at high speed, and you can't really outrun this if you're close by. The other two explosions, it's not long ago, May 31st, and then just June 12th, so almost a month ago. And then also, in addition to that, a number of weaker events have been also recorded in this area. So the new surveillance camera is paying off. That diamond pool has become a focus with increased interest for researchers of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory after that powerful hydrothermal explosion that I just mentioned on July 23rd last year. Because that one, guys, we have to make it clear, it has surprised not only the visitors that were there and felt safe, but also the scientists. It was really a miracle that nobody was injured or even worse. Because what happened at that time, and in addition to that, hot water and that black mud, it has also spit out at high speed massive amounts of large boulders, like up to a hundred feet high from that diamond pool vent, has been up in the air. People were way too close. And you see how the walkways, the wooden railings and everything has been damaged by that explosion. Had someone been standing there I don't want to think about it. And since then, there was a crater um, that had a diameter of over 10 meters, over 30 feet, still visible. So the new camera, I think they have to adjust the angles a little bit. It's not the greatest view, but at least it's captured life. And I'm happy, guys. I don't know what you think, that this has been captured by a surveillance camera and not by people, again, by tourists that are live in the area. So of course this is important for the scientists because they're measuring and they're surveilling Yellowstones and have the, the visuals as well and really know how often this is happening. It's very important for them. So they're looking at the temperature changes of the pool, the seismic signals, are there seismic signals before something like this happens? And of course infrasound 
um, that is caused by this outgassing and, and these explosions because many explosions in the past happened unnoticed. And now that they can see what's happening, they know that it's happening and it gives them a chance to learn and to understand Yellowstone better. And they have increased the seismometers around the pool as well. So thankfully, that's according to the scientists, we should not worry about magma right now. So this is a gigantic caldera. That's what Yellowstone is. It's a supervolcano, right? But Yellowstone is not our problem right now, guys. Let's look to Italy at Campi Flegri. Watch the videos in the end screen. This is kind of crazy what's going on there and how now the officials are giving us warning. So changes in this hydrothermal area of this supervolcano are not necessarily linked to like magma rising from underneath and like an imminent eruption. But, and I've reported about this, guys, we have new studies that show that there is very liquid magma underneath Yellowstone. And I've told you that it's traveling into a new direction. So the location of a future potential eruption is changing. It's more changing to the northeast. But in the short term and in the medium medium term, the scientists do not, an ex, do not expect an eruption of Yellowstone. Again, look at Campi Flegre. So we will see what that is going to be. I'm excited that we can see more of that because, you know, this volcano is alive. It's not dead. And to everyone who's visiting these national parks, be aware of that. For me, I'd be a little bit careful even walking on these walkways. It has shown us in the past last year. It's not really safe. So I prefer the view from the live camera, guys. I don't know about you. I'm not really like into danger tourism or adrenaline thrill tourism. So yeah, I'm riding horses. That's probably the same, but let's knock on wood. It's been safe for me so far. So guys, always be aware where you're going. Do not always trust all the tourist advertisements or, or even tour guides. We've seen this recently at Etna where people were running for their lives when that thing exploded. So be a little bit self-aware and careful. That is my opinion and that's what I would like to <laughs> tell you guys. So I hope you're having a great time. If you like what you saw, support the channel, guys. Go to the links in the description of this video. Buy me a coffee on my buymeacoffee.com slash silky site. Leave me a message. I will answer with a video message. You can video message me back and we can actually have a private chat with each other. So thanks for everyone who's doing this. Thanks for becoming members here on the channel. Click the join button. Thanks for your supers. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for being this wonderful community that we have created here in this channel. I appreciate you so much, guys. Bye-bye.